Hello, so I kind of wanted to share with you um, how to remove an object from a photo, a large object from a photo in GIMP. Um, now, this is based on a method by um, Pat David um, from pixels.us. Um, that's a website that focuses on um, free and open source um, image processing, photo processing. So um, what happened was I had this picture of my son at um, his sister's birthday party. And uh, my sister-in-law is ducking back here. And um, so I wanted to get rid of, of her. Now, uh, if I knew that's what I wanted from the beginning, this would be extremely easy. All I would have to do is take a picture on a tripod or stay very, very still without anybody there, and then another one with her holding him and then you could just create two layers in GIMP or Photoshop or anywhere and just um, color over this uh, and you'd be fine. Um, but I didn't know that I wanted to do that. It was afterwards when I was looking at the picture on my computer that I realized it's more distracting for her to be ducking here than it would be if she was standing up here. If she was standing up here, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and get rid of her. And um, <clears throat> I'm not trying to create some fictitious photo where at three months old uh, my son can already um, set up. That's not my intention with this particular photo. Um, so I wanted to um, get rid of her and because of the shadows here and here uh, from the lighting that I used, uh, which was basically a um, Canon speed light bounced off the ceiling, um, you have these complex shadows so you can't just do a clone. It looks really really bad if you do a clone. So yesterday what I what I kinda did was I did um, some cloning followed by a heel brush to try and um, get it to look nice. And what I ended up with was, let me see, was this. Now, um, if you know where to look, you can see that it's not perfect. If you're just looking on a phone or on Facebook or on my blog or something, you probably wouldn't notice anything was up on first try, uh, first look. But if you start zooming in, can see that it's kind of not right. Now again, it might not be perfectly obvious if you didn't know what to look for. And of course I lift her hands because like I said, I'm not trying to pretend like she didn't hold them up. I'm just trying to um, get rid of her distracting shoulder there. So uh, if we go to GIMP, which I switched into the mode where it looks like Photoshop, it's all one window. <coughs> what we want to do is start off by um, cloning this layer. So here we go. All right, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Maybe it's this one. There we go. So I'm I'm used to um, I'm used to uh, Photoshop, so it's kind of doing stuff that way. All right. So basically, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to create a layer mask and it might be easiest to just do it from here. Okay, we want white full opacity and we'll do add. Okay, now we're going to zoom in. Now, I'll mention that um, Pat David did this, he, he made a little video to show me what to do and he did the whole thing in about three minutes. So let's see how long this would take me. Um, so now we want to select, let's see, not sure how to, there we go, okay, make sure we're painting in there. So we're going to pick black, black brush, uh, there's our paintbrush, we want it to be black. Alright, so this part he said can be a rough, so we're going to increase the size, and I not have, well, I do have full opacity. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Have I selected the right thing? Hmm. Interesting. Let me see if I go here. Okay, so that definitely does something. Hmm. 
What am I doing incorrectly here? That's something I'm not sure of. Roughly paint brick. Alright, let's see, brush. Okay, let me stop the video and I'll be right back after I figure out what Oh, okay. Silly, silly, silly me. Stupid mistake. I was supposed to turn this off so I can see where I'm freaking painting. There we go. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright, let me back that up one. Alright, let's do this again. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That's such a rookie move. Alright, so... I'm just gonna get a rough... Rough bit here. Um... Probably do better with a hard brush at this point. Oops. Well, that's fine. I can always come back. So let me do that. Let me start again now that I have a hard brush. Let's see. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's shrink the brush a bit. That's pretty good, I think. And I'll have to bring back just a little bit of his, his hand there. There we go. All right, so that was the first step. Now, uh, after that, we want to use the Move tool. Move tool, move the active layer, select the lower layer, Okay, and we want to move it until the gradient looks good, he says. Um, and basically, we had to kind of go in a kind of diagonal area. So let's go. Oh, haha, -ha, I need to make it visible first. Duh. Just right out of reach. Okay. So I just kept moving it a um, little more, a little more, a little more until now. You can see that it's basically perfect. And uh, um, perhaps to get it 100% perfect, basically you would need to maybe use a softer, um, soften up the, the mask. But otherwise, it's pretty good, right? And if you zoom all the way out, way, way, way better than we had before. You can't see anything different. All right. So there you have it. So if you're doing anything at all with um, photography and free software, you should definitely check out um, pixels.us so you can um, talk to other people who are really, really good at doing this stuff. All right.